Here, I have a design of a control arm that I'd like to test using SolidWorks Simulation Express to find out how much the part will deform, or if it will fail during expected use. In this test, the large circular opening is welded to a shaft, and the downstream linkage pushes on the small hole with another shaft in a direction normal to the effective axis of the arm. A critical first step to obtaining successful test results is correctly describing these interactions to Simulation Express. To launch Simulation Express, I can go to the Tools, Express Products drop-down menu, and click Simulation Express, or go to the Evaluate tab of the Command Manager and click Simulation Express Analysis Wizard. If this is your first time opening Simulation Express on your machine, a pop-up will appear asking for a product code. If you click the link here and log in, you'll be given an activation code to input. This will only need to be done the first time you launch Simulation Express, and once complete, the icon will simply launch the tool. I'll put in the code and click OK. When I do, Simulation Express appears in the task pane and is pinned to the screen. If you ever want to collapse it, simply click on the push pin icon to unpin it, and then click anywhere in the graphics area. To bring it back again, just click the Simulation Express icon. I'll repin the task pane to keep it open while creating the study. The wizard is straightforward and will guide you through each step in the process. But to give you an overview, there are essentially three steps. Adding fixtures to the part to specify how it's held in place or restrained. Specifying how external loads are applied to the part. And assigning the part's material. There are a few other tasks performed as you go through the wizard, but these three steps will have the largest impact on any results you obtain. In later lessons, I'll take a look at how to interpret the results and even how to optimize the design.